Hello, and welcome to this presentation for the Society for Neuroscience 2022 press conference. My name is Johan Soch, and I'm here together with my supervisor Björn Schott. We are both working at the German Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases in Göttingen, Germany. And we are here to present our research indicating that although brain structure develops with age, it is mostly your brain function which determines memory performance. This is work we did in cooperation with Annie Richter from the Leibniz Institute for Neurobiology in Magdeburg, Germany. So we know that memory performance usually declines with increasing age. However, some older adults show a phenomenon known as successful aging. That is memory performance comparable to that of young adults or better than that of young adults, even in old age. It is still unknown whether this successful aging is due to the fact that those subjects have more brain tissue available, that is preserved brain structure, or whether it is due to more efficient information processing in those subjects, which would express itself in functioning brain memory networks and is known as the cognitive reserve hypothesis. So answering this question matters because an early assessment of the changes um, in cognitive performance in older adults would allow us to identify people at risk of dementia, especially Alzheimer's disease, and then would also allow for an early intervention in those patients. We investigated a sample of healthy older adults, and we first looked at their chronological age in years. So each blue dot here corresponds to one subject. All subjects were aged 60 plus, but they were obviously differing in age. And we found that chronological age was most strongly associated with measurements of brain structure, in particular, gray matter volume, which measures the density of neuronal cells at each location in the brain. However, if we looked at measurements of brain function, that is the activity of those cells in each location in the brain, we found that this was most strongly associated with memory performance. So once again, each blue dot here corresponds to one subject and they were differing with respect to how well they performed on the memory test. So to us, this indicates because the correlations were rather selective, we didn't observe them into the other direction, that successful aging is characterized by intact brain memory networks rather than preserved brain structure. We wanted to go deeper into this and therefore partitioned our sample of healthy adults into young and older subjects on the one hand and subjects with better or worse memory performance on the other hand, to compare measures of brain structure and function across the whole brain. And once again, we found that patterns of brain structure are more indicative of one's own age, that is how old you are, but not memory performance. And conversely, patterns of brain function are more indicative of one's own memory abilities, that is how well you remember stimuli from the experiment, but not chronological age. So to sum up, we predicted chronological age and memory performance in healthy older adults. And we found that brain structure measured with structure MRI best predicted chronological age. This is here shown in green on the left side. However, this has no predictive value for memory performance, which instead is better explained by brain activity measured with function MRI here shown in blue on the right side. And it is especially well explained from a few single value markers that we were able to extract from those functional MRI contrasts. This is here shown in magenta on the right side. To conclude, our results support the cognitive reserve hypothesis of successful aging, and they indicate cognitive reserve 
as being at least to some degree independent from structural brain aging. Especially our results show that even if your brain tissue starts to degrade in old age, if you keep yourself mentally and physically fit, you are able to maintain cognitive abilities and uh, especially the memory performance. However, more research is needed on the sources and on the exact mechanisms behind this phenomenon. So we need to understand how older adults are able to preserve their memory performance, even in the presence of structural changes, which inevitably occur in old age. So with that, I wanna say thank you. And if you wanna know more, we are open for questions. Thank you very much.